The question is, you said I got three, you got three sons, right? And now they live in the street life, right? And because they live in the street life, is it your fault? Watch this. Get me, um, Ezekiel. I want Ezekiel. Is it 16 or 18? All right, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 12. Let me ask you something. Are you allowing your kids to sell drugs? Is that something you taught them? Meaning, did they grow up in a house where it was going on? You know, because a lot of times in our families, I'm going to tell you how black people lie. We'll do evil stuff around our kids and then tell our kids, hey, don't do that. Like, we'll cuss around the kids all the time and then whoop the kid for cussing. You get what I'm saying? So when I ask you, was it going on in the home? That's what I mean. Not was it going on and you were sneaking so they really didn't see it. Meaning, was that a natural environment that they was in? So you didn't put them in the environment they that they in today. Let me ask you something. With them dealing drugs today, have you told them not to do it? Several times. Now watch this. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 12. Uh-huh. Honor thy father and thy mother. When we don't teach our kids these commandments, these are the things that destroy households. They destroy communities. So what happens is as the child is being reared up, we must teach them this commandment. Read it again. Honor thy father and thy mother. We must teach our children to honor their mother and father, which is you, and then whoever their father is. Whether he in the household or not in the household, there's a level of respect that must be given to parents, right? If you're telling your kids not to sell drugs, not to gangbang, and they doing it, what are they doing? They dishonoring God. They breaking this. Read it again. Honor thy father and thy mother. So when your kids grow up, right, and they do things like that, that is a personal decision that they make it as well. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 3. Watch this, sis. Read. As I live, saith the Lord God, uh -huh. ye shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb. He's saying, look, as I live, you can no more say this. Read. This proverb in Israel. Uh-huh. Behold. All souls are mine. Uh-huh. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son so is mine. Here's what he's saying. God is saying every soul is mine. The soul of the father is mine, and the soul of his son is mine. Pay attention, read. The soul that sinneth. Listen, out of the son and the father, the one that's in sin, read. It shall die. What shall happen? It shall die. What does that mean? He said, the, the soul of the father is mine, and the soul of the son is mine. Out of those two souls, the one that sinned, it shall what? It shall die. What does that mean? That means that the, the child is not responsible for the actions that the parent did. And as the child grows up and becomes a man, the parent is not responsible for the actions of the child. Let's keep reading. But... If a man be just uh -huh. and do that which is lawful. He said, but if a man is just and doing what's lawful, go ahead. And right. Uh -huh. And have not eaten up the mountains. Meaning taken on other doctrines, come on. Neither have lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Neither have defiled his neighbor's wife. Uh -huh. Meaning committed adultery. He's going through sins. He said, if a man has never done these sins, read. Neither has come near to a menstruous woman. Uh -huh. And have not oppressed any meaning you know how you oppress somebody that means that uh, the gang banking the violence all of that type of stuff come on but has restored to the debtor uh -huh. his land uh -huh. has spoiled none by violence has not robbed no man by violence he's telling you about a righteous man that's what we reading come on has given his bread to the hungry uh -huh. helped out poor people go ahead and has covered the naked with the garment meaning he gave clothes to brothers that he saw was naked go ahead he that have not given forth upon usury, uh -huh. neither have taken any increase uh -huh. that has withdrawn his hand from iniquity. What that's talking about is if I give you $20, but you got to pay me back 25 That's against God's laws. He's saying that this just man hasn't done any of these things. Go ahead. Has executed true judgment uh -huh. between man and man. Uh -huh. Has walked in my statutes. Has kept my judgment uh -huh. to deal truly. He is just. He is what? He is just. And that man is just. Go ahead. He shall surely live. What shall he do? He shall surely live. Here's what it's going to boil down to, sis. If you keeping the commandments, that's all you can do. 
So when a lot of times us as parents, we worry about our kids because we see the impending destruction. But God said that you can only worry about what you doing and not doing. As they become men, they have to make their own decisions whether or not they'll follow God. Now, as parents, give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Because moving forward, you got grandkids, you got brothers and sisters. It's important that you change your life according to the Bible for their sake. Because a lot of times you repenting and you walk in the right way will have them change because they'll see the change that is happening in your life. Uh-huh. They broke in your house and stole everything you had. Who is that, your brothers and sisters? Uh-huh. I ain't telling you to, to bring them in your house. Uh -huh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, and verse 7. Here's what we have to do as parents. Read this. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children. Teach what? Go up. Uh-huh. Come on, 4. Yep. Verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Read. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Listen. Read. With all thine heart. Uh-huh. And with all thy soul. Uh-huh. And with all thy might. Uh-huh. And these words which I command thee this day, the commandments that he was giving us, go ahead, shall be in the heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Here's the thing. Did you grow up in a Christian church? I'll tell you straight. I grew up in a Baptist church, right? My mother, since I was a little kid, I was in, in the Baptist church over in East Chicago, Indiana. We would travel from here to EC two, three times a week. Right? The thing that I noticed when I became an adult is the pastor never taught us how to keep God's commandments. How can I say that I serve God, love God, I live a holy life if I don't even know what God requires of me? That's why it's important that you look around, you see the men in the purple that's all around you. We know God's commandments and we teach God's commandments. Right? So those commandments, keep reading verse 7. Verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So once you learn the commandments, then you can teach it to your children. If you ain't nowhere around God, then nine times out of ten, your children are going to be destroyed because nobody's setting an example for them. We go by what we feel is right and wrong. You know what men feel is right and wrong? Men feel that they should be able to lay down and have sex with a sister and never marry her. Be in a relationship seven, eight, nine years, never got married. Y'all got five kids, still ain't married. But when we examine the Bible, God says marriage is honorable. That's the difference between us and our morality and God's morality. We must learn God's commandments and keep his commandments. Then our lives will change. The difference is we going into these churches and we paying for salvation. You can't pay for salvation. I'm going to prove it. Give me Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 3. Yes, sir. I'm going to prove it. Because what we do is we go to church on Sunday. We sit there. They pass the tithing plate around. And we take the drug money out of our pocket and put it in the tithing plate. Then we leave church and go finish selling drugs. And the pastor is good because we pay for his Lexus. Where is the morality of the people? You so-called blacks, we lack morality. We got no morals. It's a hot girl summer, remember? That's, when somebody can look you in your face and say it's a hot girl summer, that means they lack morals. There used to be a time when women wouldn't come out the house dressed half naked. There used to be a time when women would stay in the house and feed and take care and nourish their children. Not no more. It's all about the trip to Houston, the trip to Miami. This is the reality of a people that are in a decayed estate. So before God destroys you, he'll send the prophets to give you warning first. Watch this. Isaiah 52 and verse 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. ye have sold yourselves for not, uh -huh. and ye shall be redeemed. Listen, the Lord said we selling ourselves for nothing out here. You know the little $40 girls running up and down the street? The man that'll sleep with woman to woman and wonder why he can't keep no money in his paycheck because it's all going to child support. 
The Lord said we sold ourselves for nothing, giving these pastor tithes and offerings. Our people don't even know what tithes is according to the Bible. It ain't been one pastor that went into the Bible and taught their congregation what tithing actually is. When the Bible speaks about offering, it's talking about killing animals, sacrifices, not money given to a man with a suit on. But we have confused that foolishness for righteousness. It said, you sold yourself for not, read, and ye shall be redeemed without money. What does it say? And ye shall be redeemed without money. Meaning you can't buy your way into the kingdom of heaven. You must be moral. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Our people lack the morals. Your children, let me, let me explain something. I'm going to say it as plain as I can. Right? I ain't going to sugarcoat it. You look like you a straight shooter just like me. Your sons are going to die in these streets, sis. Bring it out. You know why they going to die? Because they refuse to repent. Hold that. Give me Luke chapter 13. No black person that's around gang activity should be walking around and never heard this scripture. Watch this. Read this. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Listen good. Read. My son, if sinners entice thee, Consent thou not. Listen to what he's saying. He's saying, look, son, if a sinner entice you, don't do it. Read. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. If the sinners say, yo, man, you come with us, let us lay wait for blood. That's to do violence to a man. Game banging, come on. Let us lurk privily. Let us lurk privily. They call it going lurking or hitting a stain. What's the next word for it? Hitting a lick. Come on. Let us look brutally for the innocent without cause. He said, let us do this to an innocent person without cause. Why? Because they'll see a man with a little money and that's the target. He ain't never did nothing to you, but because he got money, you come be with us, we gonna go rob him. Read. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave. He said, and we'll even kill him if we have to. Go ahead. And hold as those that go down into the pit. Uh-huh. We shall find all precious substance. That's what they selling drugs for, so that they can buy all manner of precious substance. That's why they rob and hit licks, so that they can get all manner of precious substance. In other words, this brother work hard for something. All I got to do is bring a gun and come take it. I don't have to put in the hard work he put in. All I need is a little nine, little 38 snug nose. I can get whatever it is he got. Read it. We shall find all precious substance. And it's easy, because it's easy to target the people that's got money. Why? Because they doing the right thing. They living their life. They just trying to make it. If I'm a grimy guy, all I got to do is wait till you get it and come take it. Listen to what the Bible say. Read. We shall fill our houses with spoils. Spoils is stolen goods. Go ahead. Cast in thy lot among us. What they say do? Cast in thy lot among us. That's gang banging. When we a gang and I come and get him and I say, hey, cast your lot with us. Meaning we vice lords, you gonna be the next vice lord. Or we crips, you the next crip. Or we GDs, you the next GD. This is in the Bible. Read it. Let us all have one purse. Let us all come from the same set. Split the same money, have the same connects. It's stuff that you learn in the streets since I'm from here. I know what it's like being born and raised in this place. Go ahead. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. What did the Bible tell that young man to do? My son, walk not thou in the way with them. You see that, sis? The Bible says when you see men of these characteristics, don't follow them. These are the lessons that we must be teaching our sons right now today. And if we already messed up with our sons, it is your job to teach the next generation of sons and daughters that come up from behind you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. 
These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.